Hi everyone, this video is going to be a little bit different. A few weeks ago, a company called Hanvan reached out to me and said that they want to send me a toy called Gogo Bird, which is actually, for lack of a better term, a remote controlled flying bird. It seemed like an awesome and interesting toy and I said yes, sure, why not? I told them to send me two of them in case I break one and if I don't break it, the plan was to give away one of them to you. By the way, I am not sponsored by this company, they just offered to send me these for free and before they did so, I told them that I will do an honest review. The box looks very neat and professional, but let's open one and see what's inside. Okay, in the box we got a user manual, very detailed by the way. Next up is a quick start guide. I love when companies include this with their products so you don't have to go through the entire user manual. And here is our bird. Look at those colors. I asked them to send me a green and a blue one, so this is the green one and I gotta say the colors are very vibrant and catchy. Really really nice. There's the body with all the mechanical stuff visible. I honestly wish they would have covered this so it looks more realistic, but I guess, I don't know, maybe some of you just enjoy this naked look. In the box, we also have a small screwdriver, a extra battery, a USB battery charger and the remote control. For the remote control, you'll need two AAA batteries, which are not included in the box. Let's get some in and get this bird flying. I really like that they included the screwdriver in the box so you can put the batteries in. It's a very nice touch. To turn on the remote, you'll have to press this little button here and you'll see a green light coming on. To turn the bird on, you'll just have to press this button here, you'll see a couple lights coming up and then it will stop on the green light which means you are good to go. Alright, let's turn it on. Hopefully it won't fly everywhere. Ready? Oh jeez, this bird wants to take off. Let's watch that in slow motion. Wow, look at that. It's so realistic, right? Okay, now let's take it outside and have some fun. Before we launch it, here is what each button on the remote does. This one turns the remote on and off. The button that's here at the top starts the bird, meaning it starts flapping its wings. The joystick, if you move it up, it will start flapping its wings faster and raise the bird higher. Move the joystick down and the bird will flap its wings slower and slower, which will make it descend. Right will make the bird go right and left will make it go left. This button on the left will make the bird fly in a counterclockwise circle. The one on the right will make it fly in a clockwise circle. This stop button will switch from automatic to manual control and the one at the bottom will make the bird fly in a 8 figure pattern. Enough talking, let's launch it. So this didn't work as expected, but before you make up your mind, let me explain what happened. Even though there was barely any wind, the bird acted as if there was and it was very difficult to control. It wouldn't exactly listen to my commands and it kind of just had a mind of its own. I had to pick it up and try it over and over again. I honestly thought it might be my fault, like I don't know how to control it, so I read the whole user manual and followed all the instructions, but I didn't get any different results. So I come back home and I decided to open the other box and give the bluebird a try because maybe, just maybe, it's the bird that is the problem. Let's switch the batteries from one remote to the other, insert a fully charged battery in the bird, turn it on. All looks good, okay, then this happened.
It worked perfectly. And even though the wind picked up a bit compared to earlier in the day, that didn't have much of an impact. It was responding to my commands in an instant and I had a blast. I was able to lift it really high, fly it closer to the ground, do some cool tricks, and I even crashed it a few times, but it didn't affect it whatsoever. I was really impressed, and at this point, it was crystal clear that the other bird was the problem and not me. It's incredibly light, by the way, and it might seem flimsy, but trust me, it's a very nice build and a resilient little bird. I even contacted the company regarding the green one and they offered to send me a replacement, which was very nice of them. However, I decided to leave it at that since I got these for free. One of the coolest trick you can do is to lift it really high and then turn it off and as it gets closer to the ground turn it on again and it will just take off. I literally had tons of fun playing around with this. Thank you so much Han Van Gogo Bird for sending this to me. Job well done on designing it and it works beautifully. It's an eye catcher. I mean come on it's a flying bird not a plane not a drone but a flying bird. The wings start flapping and it flies. Isn't that crazy? Another cool thing I love about it is the battery and how easy it is to charge it. So you get two batteries in the box. Fully charged, it gives you about 10 minutes of fun. But honestly, I felt like it lasted me longer than that. And it takes only 20 minutes to get it fully charged again once it's empty. I really like that you only need a USB port to charge it. This means you can plug it in a power bank, a laptop, or any other device that has a USB port. The user manual also provides instructions on other tricks you can do while flying it, along with step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the battery, what each button does, all the parts of the bird, how to troubleshoot any issues that might come up, and many more. If you want to get yourself a GoGo Bird, you can either order it on their website, gogobird.com, or on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description. It costs $39.99 and it has my seal of approval. I think it's worth every penny, especially if you have kids. They will absolutely love it. I have two nephews and one of them is three years old and the other one is two. And they were all smiles and giggles when we played outside with this. It was so much fun. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to absolutely destroy that like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more, and let me know in the comments what you think about this bird, if you already got one or if you are deciding to get one. As always, stay golden until the next video. Bye bye!